My name is Charles P. Scott or Chip. Um, I have a PhD and I teach. Um, I'm an assistant professor for instruction and I teach uh, a, the lion's share of the VR classes. Um, I'm also the associate director for undergraduate studies or just the undergraduate director for short. And um, I am the audio expert or audio director here at the Grid Lab, which is why we're in this space right now. All right, so the audio suite is, um, it, it's, it's just one of our audio facilities. Um, we've also got a number of labs where audio is produced and uh, a whisper room or isolation booth that we may take a quick look at later. But the audio suite is where um, most of our audio post-production occurs. And that has um, some of the facilities you can see here, um, various computers. This is a, a Yamaha Nuage mixing board some outboard gear over here, um, preamps and channel strips and um, ins and outs and all that kind of stuff. So we, we use this to um, do post-production on the spatial and immersive audio that we use on our projects. Well, so originally, uh, this is just another piece of the grid lab. We have basically like three parts. Um, and those three parts are the spatial audio and immersive audio. Um, VR, AR, and immersive design, um, and cinematic VR, 360 video, that kind of stuff. Essentially, every project that the Grid Lab is going to engage in has audio in it. And it's usually a special type of audio that's, um, that's sort of different from what most people typically create and experience. And it's audio that uh, is able to move when you move with motion tracking and it's audio that feels somewhat naturalistic in the sense that we hear things in a 360 degree field right so if somebody comes in the door behind you um, you'll hear them out of both ears at the same time but you'll also probably hear them a split second before in one ear before the other right and your brain registers that difference and allows you to know where the sound is coming from, but your brain does all that kind of uh, calculation and computation naturally. You don't have to think about it. It's, it's an autonomic process. And what we do is we make audio that reproduces that sort of thing for virtual reality and games. The kinds of things that we do here do not work without great audio. They just don't. So imagine yourself um, watching a, a movie and the speakers you know start crackling or the audio drops out of one side of your stereo speaker system or your surround sound system or you can't hear the dialogue because it's all muffled right um essentially every single project we do regardless of whether it's a more traditional video game cinematic vr or full computer generated vr has to have high quality audio it has to sound professional, it has to be engaging, and for most of the projects we do, it has to make the users or the listeners feel like they are inside the sound, like they're inside a 360 degree field where as they move around, just like in real life, I turn this way and I hear you out of my right ear, I turn this way and I hear you out of my left ear. Um, we have to make that kind of magic happen for, for most of the projects that we have. So. Um, sound is integral to essentially everything that we do in the grid lab, which is, of course, part of the McClure School.